Hey guys, welcome back. You're still tuned into Business Lunch. Now, in some relief for troubled edtech startup Baiju's, the Karnataka High Court has ruled that any decision taken on the extraordinary general meeting called for by shareholders on Friday will not be given effect to the uh, up until the next court hearing. So, Ritu is here to tell us more about that. Ritu. Well, Baiju's filed a petition in the Karnataka High Court challenging the EGM call by a group of shareholders to remove Baiju Ravindran as the CEO and revamp the board. Now, Baiju's in its petition had claimed that certain investors had violated the terms of Articles of Association, the Shareholder Agreement and the Companies Act by calling for this EGM. But the Karnataka High Court has not granted any stay on the EGM. In fact, in its interim order, it has merely said that any decision taken by the shareholders in this EGM will will not be given effect to until the next date of hearing at the Karnataka High Court, which is on the 13th of March. Meanwhile, investor sources we spoke to said the EGM will go ahead as planned on Friday, and the court has not declared the EGM as illegal, nor has it granted a stay on the resolutions, uh, which has been sought by Baiju's. Remember, we've been reporting uh, that the group of shareholders, which represent about 30 percent stake in the company, are seeking to remove Baiju Ravindran as the CEO to reconstitute the board, with nine members to appoint a forensic auditor to look into various activities and demanded management clarification and its strategy with respect to the various insolvency cases, uh, you know, financial mismanagement and so on. All right. Thanks, Ritu, for getting us those important details. That's tug of war between investor and founder going on at Baiju's and court has taken a very balanced, uh, given a very balanced ruling on this that the EGM goes ahead but it can't be in effect till the next court hearing or the court decides. All right, uh, we slip into a short breather on the show when we return. Grassim, remember, launches its paints business under the brand Villa Opus. We get you all the details on the other side. Stay tuned.